Now, I do want to send it over to my colleague Chris Sadegi. And Chris, so many people are tired of hearing of mass shootings one after another. And today, students are taking action, right? Yes, Tiffany, the sadness from this shooting extends far beyond Allen. And now we're seeing some of the frustration and action happen across the state as well. Student walkouts, just one form of protest we're expecting to see today, including right here in Allen. The group Students Demand Action is asking students in Texas to walk out of their classrooms at noon today, just like what we already saw at Plano Senior High on Wednesday. We could see students taking part, some of them holding signs. Students Demand Action is also calling for a day of action on Saturday with organized rallies in the state. Another group taking some action is the Collin County Parents Against Gun Violence Group. They sent letters to their representatives in Austin saying that they will be at the Capitol on Monday to join the chorus of voices asking for increased gun safety. Adding to the effort we've seen from Uvalde parents this entire legislative session, even though the bill that would raise the minimum age for purchasing some semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21 appears stalled before getting a vote on the House floor, the push goes on. We're hurt, we're shocked, um, we're horrified over what took place, but we also motivated, we're motivated to see change. As for how the districts are going to handle these walkouts, Allen ISD has already told parents that they will not stop students who wish to participate. However, other districts taking a di dis different approach, Fort Worth ISD has said that they want students to stay in class. Mark, back to you. Okay, Chris, thank you for that update this morning. As we talk about what happens next, scan that QR code. It'll take you right to our website. You can also call 214-977-6200 to share your thoughts. As we ask that you join us this Friday for an hour-long special on WFAA called Action After Allen, where we will discuss what, if anything, can be done to prevent more shootings like this. That special airs at 7 p.m. again right here on WFAA.